What is up people on the internet? Hope you're having an amazing day. Now in today's video I'm going to give some advice on what items you should buy in Japan if you are one thinking of living in Japan or coming to Japan during the summer months. Now the summer months are very hot in Japan. The average during the summer month, especially August, is between 25 to 32 degrees or in Fahrenheit that's between 77 to 90 Fahrenheit so it gets very hot in the summer but also to make it worse Japan is a very humid country so with that high heat we're also adding humidity which makes it very hot so during the month of August it is a very uncomfortable month and to top it off with the effects of global warming it is getting more hotter so I came last year in August and everyone around me said this had been the hottest month in such a long time and also on Japan news some of the temperatures were record breaking and it doesn't look like it is going to change so Japan could be getting hotter and hotter every summer so it's really important that you keep safe while being in Japan and staying cool and hydrated so I'm going to show you some items to buy when you get to Japan during the summer months. And especially that summer is around the corner, you definitely need to be aware of some of these items. So let's go. Okay, first item that you should get while you're in Japan is some hand towels. Make sure you get some hand towels. Now the beauty of hand towels is they are practically sold everywhere. You can get them in gift shops, you can get them in shops. And if you are lucky enough that you know some Japanese people when you arrive, they will probably give you some hand towels as a gift. So this one is pretty easy to find and pretty quick. And what's also fun with them, you can get many different cute ones. I really like this one because it's got a little Mikan dog on, so it's very cute. So make sure you keep these with you all the time when you're traveling around in summer to wipe off all the sweat that is going to build up while you are traveling around Japan. And also what's good with these is if you go to any public bathroom, not all the time they will have paper towels. So these are very good to use to dry your hands afterwards. So make sure you keep a hand towel with you at all times when you're traveling around Japan. Okay, the next biggest and most important item is sunscreen. Make sure you are wearing sunscreen and make sure you keep sunscreen in your bag to top up. Since Japan is a place, you cannot go out without wearing sunscreen. I have definitely been putting on a lot more sunscreen since being in Japan because in England, I didn't put it on all the time, but you can definitely get away a lot more in England if you're not wearing sunscreen. But in Japan, it is a big no-no. Make sure before you leave the house, you are applying sunscreen. It is very dangerous if you do not. You have a higher chance of getting burned or if you do happen to forget to put sunscreen on before you leave the house, make sure you put some sunscreen items in your bag so you can top up throughout the day. Also, make sure that your lip balm as well has sunscreen on. That is very important. So I recommend having sunscreen lip balm as well. Keep that in your bag all the time to top up. Uh, personally, for me, I really like spray on suntan lotion as well. So make sure you buy some spray on ones. And while you are in Japan, this is the best sunscreen I've ever used. I highly recommend it when you come to Japan. Even when you leave, make sure you buy some of these for your journey back home as it is amazing. I've mentioned it before, but it is the JM Solution Sunstick. These are amazing. I love them. They are easy to apply, easy to take on the go. And I love the curve feature. So when you peel it on and you apply on your face it forms with your face lovely and it just glides on very nicely i love this sunstick so much i take it all the time they are a little bit expensive for sunscreen but the price is definitely worth the money because they are great one of the biggest reasons i love it is it forms to the face nicely and when you put it on your face feels really smooth afterwards since one of the biggest reasons i don't like putting sunscreen on sometimes is i hate the kind of oily feeling afterwards so this one is definitely great because it just dries off quickly and your skin feels so smooth afterwards. So definitely recommend, you can get this in pretty much every drugstore in Japan. 
So the second you find it, you buy a couple to take back home because it is the best sunscreen I've ever had. Okay, our next item is some cooling items to keep yourself cool during the summer month. The cold items just explode everywhere in all the local shops because they really want to keep people cool and safe during the summer since many people either pass out from dehydration or they overheat and pass out so they really want to keep people safe. So the next items to keep yourself cool is a ice towel for your neck to keep it cool around your neck while exploring. Now I think these are pretty cool. Now I really like these, it keeps your neck really cool and it just keeps that kind of area around here cool throughout the day as well. What you can do with them is pretty easy. So in the bag you will get one of these kind of ice jelly plastic cool packs and you can either stick in the fridge or the freezer. I recommend the freezer if you want a much lasting cooling experience. And then also it comes with this cloth that you can put the ice bag in. Now what is nice of these, you will get two of these packets. So if you are traveling throughout the day, what you can do is you could have one frozen one and one in the fridge. So when the one in the fridge gets too warm, you can switch it out with the ice bag one. Or if you are taking an ice bag with you, then you can keep both frozen ones so they will last longer throughout the day. But you just feed it through the cloth and then on the sides, they've got some Velcro. So you just wrap it around your neck, stick the Velcro on. So then throughout the day, your neck's gonna stay pretty cool and it just keeps all this area pretty cool during the summer heat. So I like these very much. These are also really great items if you're thinking about going to the beach as well and having a beach day to stay cool. So next item that's very good to keep yourself cool, especially if you don't want to bring many items and you're traveling light, are these cool wet towels that you can buy in the drugstore. So these are what they are. You, again, you just stick them in the fridge and then when you are traveling, just put them in your bag and then they will stay. They should stay cold throughout the day and then when you need them, you just open it up and then you can either it is just pretty much a big cold wet towel they're just one big cold wet towel so what you can do you can either just rub it on your face to cool yourself down or like with the neck one before you can just pull it around your neck to keep yourself cool throughout the day so these are some great small ones to take on the go if you don't want to bring many items but you want some items that will keep you cool so this is a great one for light travel obviously the downside to these ones is they are a one-time use so once they have warmed up and they are no longer cool you can't use them again if you want light travel then these are great if you want something a little bit more reusable then definitely recommend get the ice neck collar okay and my final item to show for today is instant cool spray so this is just some cold spray to leave in your bag take on the go all you have to do is just spray it on some cloth like material it should be cold straight away and then you just use your cloth to cool yourself down so this is why it's really important to keep a hand towel with you on the go so then you can spray it on here and keep yourself cool so this is what the item looks like all you have to do is shake it spray it on your water towel you should have a little snow pile on the towel i can only feel it's very cold just fold it over to keep the cold side not directly onto your skin and then all you have to do is press it down and it pretty much just forms like ice because even now it just feels very cold and ice like so you're basically just spraying instant ice onto your cloth and then just tapping it around to cool yourself down. So this one is pretty cool because you're just making ice straight away. So you can fold it over if you want to, but you can also show it on the ice side as well. It just depends on how quick you want the coldness to be on your skin. And then you just dab it onto yourself and it will cool you down. But it's pretty much ice, as you can see it's really melting. So it's just ice in a can. And again, another one, if you're on the go, it will fit into your bag nicely so a great small portable one to take okay there you guys have it those are some cooling items to keep yourself cool 
if you ever want to come to Japan in the summer or if you're ever thinking of moving to Japan and what items to buy. Also really important while you are in Japan during the summer just look after yourself make sure you drink water make sure you put a cap on as well just make sure you stay in the shade or go in air-conditioned buildings keep yourself very safe as summer in Japan is very dangerous and if you don't look after yourself you could get seriously ill so keep safe during summer in Japan. Now there are many more items to keep yourself cool during Japan if you want me to show you those items as well let me know in the comments down below. If you also know any great items to keep yourself cool during the summer of Japan put in the comments down below let's make this a community to help one another during people's times in Japan. If there's anything else you want to see on this channel make sure you comment down below also subscribe to stay up to date and just remember guys keep being awesome keep being amazing and i'll see you in the next japan related video bye